Hey crate diggers and music lovers of all types. I got some boxes from Texas and I'm going to show you what I got next on Vinyl Jeopardy. Well, hello, I am still Makila Sunrise and uh, maybe you remember from way back I was in contact with one of my cousins and she informed me that she had records from various and sundry relatives. In particular, some of them are from my uh, grandparents' collection and she asked me if I wanted them. Well, yes, I do. So she has been sending them to me piecemeal and I am unboxing right now one of the boxes that she sent me. So uh, let's see what's in here. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, I shouldn't say that. My guess might be there probably be some R&B and blues in here. But anyway, let's uh, look at it and see. Let me pull out the records and see what is in here. And this is Patty LaBelle. This is, let's see, Patty in, Patty's in her prime. If you don't know me by by now, I can't forget you. What can I do for you? And shy. So this is Patty LaBelle. It still has the shrink wrap on it, and apparently at the time it cost seven ninety nine. Uh, I got it for free, and the year on this is nineteen eighty five. So this is cool. And I said that I needed to check and see if the record was actually in here because we found out that sometimes uh, it is not. This is Luther Vandross. I think I might have this. I'm not sure, but hey, never too much. This is like a classic album. I love this album. As a matter of fact, just recently, I also have a video of um, Luther Vandross in Wembley, and I just watched it recently, and so this is wonderful. This is 1981. Yeah, it is never too much. I said it just I just said it because I pretty much knew that it was never too much. What else? Okay, this is James Ingram. This is a single, and it is it's real. And I don't think I don't know if I have heard this song before, but I will definitely listen to it. Let's see if that's what's really up in here. Oh, oh, that's interesting. It's not even inside. Yeah, there is a inner, whoo, little thin plastic sleeve, but the record wasn't in the plastic sleeve. Not that it has to be, because I have to go through these records and clean them and play them anyway. Doesn't really matter. But let's see what else is in the box. This is Sadie, and it is Promise and oh it's kind of beat up look at that it's all torn up but let's see if the record is in here <laughs> as a matter of fact there's no record in here at all <laughs> there's no record in it there's some record covers some uh paper record covers there's two of them and uh let's see no, there's a third record covering here, but is this Sadie? Produced by Gary B Gibb. No. Michael Jackson. What is this? This is a uh, inner cover, but I don't know. Let me see. It says, Side 1, Eaten Alive, O Teacher, Experience, Chain Reaction. Uh more and more all of these are written by gary um, uh, barry gibbs so could this be the bgs or maybe it is oh no this is diana ross that's what it says down here it says uh diana ross enterprises 1985 so apparently this came from a diana ross i wonder if diana ross is in here next maybe that's where it came from let's see it's a mystery this is I got Nat, and it is a uh, promo copy. Oh no, I got the Nat. It's a pro 
promo copy of uh, Everlast. <laughs> Took me a minute to figure out what that said. Everlast. Okay, y'all remember when Everlast was a, a rapper? Sort of. I got the knack. Okay, maybe you guys remember that. Uh, let's see if this is really him. Yes, it's it's Everlast. Okay, this is this is classic, because nobody nobody remembers this probably from Everlast. I do. Okay, let me see. Ooh, ZZ Hill, and this uh, also has water damage, torn up. Um, I don't. See see any songs that I'm here that I can easily recognize but I do like ZZ Hill and ZZ Hill is in here uh, so definitely going to be listening to this it's the blues if you don't know ZZ Hill um, here is the Misty Miss Christie I do not know this artist Let's see if uh, Miss Christie is actually in here. And yes, it is. And this record is it's in pretty decent condition for a very old record. Uh, let's see if it has the year on here. Mm, I do not see a year, but she's a really nice looking uh, young woman. It says here... Uh, June Christie sings some sad songs and gay songs in her typically misty, moody manner. Now, now I'm really interested. Now I really want to hear it because I want to hear what her moody manner is. All right. Let's see. This is Vanilla Fudge near the beginning. And this has shrink wrap on it, which I have no problem making off. Uh, which I usually do. Vanilla Fudge, also a um, artist that I am not familiar with. Uh, the songs on here are Shotgun, Some Velvet Morning, Where Is Happiness? And then side two just has one song and it's Break Song is what it's called. So this is interesting. Uh, I'm not familiar with these people but i will definitely listen to it you know i will okay box number two. Oh, now i'm familiar with thelma houston any way you like it thelma houston and this is 1976 uh definitely a uh stellar voice this lady thelma houston if you've never heard her sing before uh, she is definitely something, so that'll be great. And here is the best of Ray Charles. And let me see if there's a year on here. I don't see a year, so I don't know where this best of came from, but what's on it is Ain't That Fine, uh, Ray Charles Blues, Honey Honey, How Long, St. Pete, Florida Blues, uh, someday, Rockin' Chair Blues, Here I Am, If I Give You My Love, and Going Down Slow. And yes, that is the record that is in here, Ray Charles. All right, we're almost through, guys. So this is Lou Rawls Live. Okay, I love Lou Rawls. He has a very unique voice that uh, no one has. Now, my dad knew this guy who was like a Lou Rawls impersonator. He did all right. Um, but he sang all Lou Rawls songs. I'm trying to see if there's a year on here because a year is important to me. I just like to get a timeline in my mind of when these records were produced or when they were pressed at least. And I don't see anything on this one. This is yet another Lou Rawls. And it's All Things in Time. Yep, that's the record that's in there. And this is from 1976. So this probably is not going to have like the um, 
some of the oh you know what it does have some of the classics on here groovy people is on here groovy groovy people groovy people i love that song you want to hang out with some groovy people like you vinyl collectors like myself this is thankful natalie cole and let's see if there's a year on this one 1977 it has on here our love yeah that's definitely i wonder it's probably if it's scratched just wondering because that song is probably the song that was this is actually looks it looks pretty good doesn't it this is not too bad all right it's got our love on it so let's see uh the supremes i hear a symphony and it has the shrink wrap on it and this record was two dollars and 88 cents huh actually it was 379 and on sale for 288 goodbye shrink wrap uh here is the supremes and it has on here yesterday i hear a symphony unchained melody and let's see if there's anything else I recognize. I don't recognize any of these other songs. Uh, what is the year on here? 1966, y'all. 1966, The Supremes. Okay. And this is the last record that I got in this batch. And it is the Norman Luboff. Choir. Yeah, I I do not know the Lauren the who Norman LaBeouf Choir and the year on this one again I don't see a year. Let me check and see if this is the actual record. Maybe it has the year on it. No doubt, it's pretty old and no it does not and yes easy to remember is the name of the album and it is a choir um the music on here is love is here to stay tenderly laura september in the rain deep purple soon this will be interesting to listen to because i always think of choirs as uh, doing more religious type music and it doesn't sound like this is religious music so this will be interesting to hear a choir singing something that's not religious so I am very happy with the records that I got thank you again to my cousin in Galveston Texas Valerie thank you again for the records these are about to uh, have a little bath and then they'll be sitting on the turntable so that they can be heard. Uh, do you have any of these records? Are you familiar with the choir, the uh, Norman LaBeouf choir? I wonder if anybody else, that, else out, out there has ever heard this. Uh, whatever you do, keep spinning your records. I'm Akila Sunrise and this is Vinyl Jeopardy. These are my records.